Hi, I'm Michelle from Muskegon Area District Library. I would like to show you our Take It Make It kit Shrinky Dinks that's available at our branches while supplies last. This kit is intended for um, teens and kids, so be sure to stop in the library and pick one up. In your kit, you will find a sheet of instructions. You will also find patterns that it's a double-sided piece of paper. You can use these patterns or you do not have to. It is totally up to you. You will also find a piece of shrinky dink plastic that has a hole punched in each end of it. The hole, you can use that and place your shrinky dink pattern around it in such a way so that you could make this into something that you could hang on a necklace or a keychain. In order to have a hole in it though, you have to start with a hole in the material before you heat it up. Once it's heated and cooled, you cannot put a hole into it. What you do with this, and I've got it going a little bit already, you take your shrinky dink material and you, it's a really good idea if you tape it down so it holds it nice and steady, and then you can draw your pattern, trace it, and then color it in. Once it is all done, you will cut it out, and you can cut right on the lines if you want or make a nice big circle around it. I really like the circles around this particular kind of shrinky dink because the white edge, I think, looks really nice. Um, if you do have a hole in it, you're going to want to cut far around it so that you're sure that it won't break when you go to hang it on anything. Um, once you have it all done, you're going to put it on in the oven that's been preheated at 325 degrees, and you'll put it on a cookie sheet, but cover the cookie sheet with aluminum foil or parchment paper first. Then you put your shrinky dinks in the oven and let them shrink. They, it takes two to three minutes, and once it's all done, it'll be much harder and I will show you how small. This whale is the same size. It started off the same size, so there's a big difference. So, and you will be able to use your material, the plastic, to do designs, lots of different designs on them. And here are some that I have done, and you can do whatever you want with them. Watch for more program coming up on our metal.org calendar, and be sure to watch for our newsletter that will be coming out later this month.